Good day everybody and welcome back. Um, about a week or so ago, around about a week ago, I was watching YouTube from Woods Creek Workshop. Um, he made a studding saw arbor um, and it turned out really, really nice and it looks, the design he had looks to be really rigid and, and solid. Um, I've I thought about buying a few slitting saws and after I seen that I, I went out and I did. Um, they're only three inch ones, 75 mil, but they've got a one inch ball, 72 tooth, one mil wide. Um, so I, I contacted Utrell and asked if it's okay if I use his design and mentioned him in the video, which he, yeah, he agreed to, so thank you Utrell. Um, it's probably hard to see this drawing on this page. Um, I don't have CAD or anything like that, so I just I drew it off, drew it off my head and what I could see in the video. So that was a phone. Um, so it's a three-quarter shank, an inch and a half outside dimension here. Um, the slug on the end, which it's a slug at the moment, um, it's just a piece I, I had left over. I just cleaned the ends up. Um, it's got to be a really, really nice fit, so sort of half a thou tolerance, if that, you know, inside this ball. Um, so, and that'll have around a quarter of an inch a bit under shoulder on it that'll push against this edge of the the arbor um, I'm going to put a 10 mil fine thread 10 by 1 in uh, in here to hold this cap this lever through hole and a recess for the for the cap head bolt um, so that'll be a, yeah, a 10 10 by 1 thread and that'll be a very snug fit this piece here will be a very snug fit as a retainer. Um, I'm not really good at explaining things, but I, I guess I hope you get the gist. So this material is inch and a half. Um, so I've got inch and a half written there, but it's going to be a fraction under by the time I clean it up. But I'll roughly clean it. Um, and then when I've got the two components together, bolted together, that's when I'll do a final trim and clean them both up together so they're uniformed. But I'm going to make this piece first to suit the saw. Um, yeah, if this works out half as good as usual's, I'll be stoked. Anyway, I'll get over to the lathe and make a start. Oh no, we're in the chucked up in the lathe. I've got my um, lathe stop set to three quarters of an inch. Um, so I've got to take half a, half an inch off this. So I'll get down fairly close and then start checking with the saw from there on. I don't know if this insert needs changing yet or not. They do. Okay, um, I've got it down to within four thou, so it's one inch four thou, and I've let it cool down for half hour or so. So, um, when I use the um, use digital calipers, it's telling me it's one inch two thou. So 
I'm going to dial in to take tooth out off and I may just have to sand it back from there I don't know so we'll give it a go finish just quietly anyway it'll be hidden One foul and five tenths. So, I'm going to put that bloody saw there. I'm just going to do a spring pass and see what happens. Unless I just can't take anything off, I don't think. Spend a bit of time and just sand that from here on. A bit of wet and dry. It's that close to going on. It's not. There's no. There's no odds. I'll do some sanding and I'll bring you back. Then. She's on. Fantastic. So now, I should have done it first, but I didn't. I just want to clean this edge up very, very, very lightly. Make sure that does pull up against there nicely. It doesn't want to quite. Oh, yeah, it does. Yep, that'll be okay. Good enough. Up here to do the center hole through there now. Um, 
I'm going to use a 10 by 1 mil pitch shredded bolt. Um, just checked up on the internet for a close fit hole. Um, it says 10.5, but the way I sharpen drills, more than likely a 10 mil drill is going to give me enough clearance anyway. So if that's any indication to tell you how good I am at sharpening drills. Uh, but if if it does turn out it's too tight, I can always clock this piece back in with the four jaw chuck and make sure it is running dead true to read drill the center if I have to at ten point five mil. Should be good. Um, guess now I can flip it and I'm just going to machine this end off here, the leftover, and clean that up. And that piece is, I'd say, as good as finished. I'm going to machine all this off. Um, which shouldn't take all that long and then I'll have to put a little can of bore in for the head of the bolt so I might have to wait till tomorrow to get till I get the bolt to see what size it has to be exactly but I don't know, yeah I haven't got any bolts here to, to check it so anyway I'll get machining on that and I'm not going to boys at all with any of that I'll wait till I get down to new dimension and I'll bring it back <laughs> I could do with the polish now. It's a really good, and the battery's gone flat on me light here as well. That's why the lighting sort of gone a bit awful. Um, I might spend a bit of time now just off camera and a wet and dry and a bit of WD-40 and clean that up, make it look all pretty, and that might do me for the day. Well, here I am talking away to the camera and it's not even recording. Um, I screwed this hole up, this bore up a touch. Um, about three quarters of the way in, I um, advanced out a bit too far when I was doing the oh, machine at the end of the bore and went a touch deep. But anyway, it's at 16.3 now, which gives the the bolt, the head of the bolt, a bit of clearance going by the dimensions I've got. 
Um, I've still got to get to the shop and buy them, but I looked it up on the internet. Uh, it's 16 mil, so it's got 0.3 clearance there. Uh, um, all I've done was just use a Noga tool and chamfer the edges a little bit there. So this part's pretty much finished now. Um, the only thing I've got to do when I get the main arbor machined up is when they're both bolted together is to marry these two shoulders together. Now these two outer diameters here. Um, just do a cut across both of them when it's all bolted up just to marry them together. So 